How's it going, Doodlebugs? Today we're going to be making a carry strap for boxing gloves. So, I recently started boxing classes, and I wanted a way to carry my gloves to class without having to shove it in a string bag because they're just kind of bulky and it's awkward and I don't like the way it feels. So I figured I would try to make my own carry strap. So I went ahead and made my first prototype, but I didn't like the way that it turned out. So I'm gonna keep messing with it and I was gonna take you guys along on the journey with me. So again, as per usual, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, and I started by making a prototype. I figured I'd make it out of paracord, by the way, 550 paracord, um, that I had from when I was in, I think, middle school, actually. Um, but this is what the prototype that I have looks like. So I wove a sort of shoulder strap, and then I have two strings hanging off where I thought with this little clasp that I'd be able to slip the wrist of the glove through it and have it hold, but I made it too short, so that's number one. So when it's hanging on my shoulder, the glove just comes up to like right here and basically smacks me in the face, so that's not cool. And then also these little hooks, I was worried that they would eat into the glove over time. So I wanted to figure out a way to do it without any hardware. So I actually just went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up some more paracord in black. And then I was gonna keep using the black and red camo that I already owned and see if I couldn't figure it out. So I'm gonna noodle. So I also picked up this silicone mat. It's just a little thing, it was like $3, and it's helpful for when you need to burn the ends of the paracord to set it down on so that it can solidify and dry without sticking to anything, because it will stick to everything. Um, and it will also burn, so if you're gonna play with this stuff, be very careful. So the silicone mat is really helpful when it comes to finishing the knots. I don't know if you can see, but the ends of the knots are melted. So when you wanna get a nice smooth finish on there so it doesn't catch on anything and it, and it seals so it doesn't come undone, once you heat it up so it melts, you can just roll it on the silicone mat, careful not to burn your fingers. Um, and that's what helps give it the smooth finish and keep the knot from coming undone. Okay, so here I was testing a theory with a knot. So typically this type of knot is made with two strings on the inside. So this yellow string that you can see is in the inside. Typically this would be looped at the top and this would also run through the middle because this stitch is usually used to make those bracelets that you, you don't use used to see people wear, um, but instead I did it with one string and I wanted to see how that would change because this one I did with the double string on the inside, you can see the loop. Um, and they look basically indistinguishable. They have the same width and everything, so this gives me proof of concept on the next thing I was going to do, so the second version of the carry strap. So my idea for the second version of the carry strap is just one string, but on either end, instead of using the hardware clips um, cinch around the rest of the glove under the cuff, I made cinch knots on either end. So you can see how you, can, you just have to pull and it will change the size. So I was thinking, slip it around, tighten it up, throw it over your shoulder, but then have some kind of weave to make this part thicker. 
so that it doesn't dig in and hurt your shoulder. So now that I know that the weave works on just the one string in the middle, I can go ahead and get the right length on the, sh the carry strap and then go ahead and do my weaving. Okay, so I tested the length a few times and I settled on four and a half feet of the center string length and that gives you enough to have both the loops on the end. So I started off with over six feet and I trimmed a little and then I trimmed a little um, and four and a half feet seem to work well for my torso height. So we're gonna go with that. So here's the finished strap. So again, it's just a simple weave for the shoulder strap and then two cinch knots at the bottom to go around the wrists of the glove. And there we go. So the instructions that I used for this came from a project book that I had gotten from the Pepperell Braiding Company from the craft store. I used this cinch knot instruction for a water bottle string. There's the example photo. And then my original idea I extrapolated from this parachute cord craft book by Design Originals. I had seen this camera strap instruction and that's what gave me the idea for the shoulder strap. Because you can see they use that same weave that I used. So yeah. If you'd like me to make a video explaining how to do the knots, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.